And even after the operation, are you still on medications? That's such an interesting question because so much depends on, I think, probably what goes on in your brain after the operation. I, my operation was wonderfully successful in that my surgeon removed the whole cavernoma, which doesn't necessarily happen. And I have a nice, clean wound in there. So we were hoping that I'd be able to come off the anti-epileptics totally. My neurologist wasn't so sure. He thinks I'll have to remain on medication for the rest of my life because of the scar tissue, because I have acquired this epilepsy. I'm still on medication. I'm still on anti-epileptic anti medication. And I've decreased that dosage slightly since the operation. I'm hoping I'll be able to decrease it more. Maybe, maybe someday come off it entirely. My neurologist is not so sure. Yeah, that's that's my situation. Does uh, does the medication have side effects? It certainly it certainly does. I think in my case, not not terribly dramatic ones, but some. But you have to remember that brain surgery, by its nature, is often um, eleptogenic. It, it gives some people epilepsy. I mean, brain surgery has many risks that attend it. In my case, it didn't make my epilepsy worse. Um, in fact, it's probably made it better. I haven't had any or maybe a slight breakout seizure since I've had brain surgery. So in my case, it's been fan a fantastically good result. Um, so it's you never go into brain surgery thinking you're going to cure your epilepsy unless you're going unless you have brain surgery to cure your epilepsy. So, but in my case, uh, I've, I've had a good outcome that way. But I'm not entirely off my medication.